Hello, in this video we're going to look at Schwartz inequality and uh, in regards to summations or sequence of sums and reason one reason I'm doing this is that in my four year series that I have several unproven statements and I'm going to go back and try to uh, prove those just to, so we can have documentation and so there's two forms of the Schwartz inequality and they're equivalent um, it, it's this and this and the difference is if you take the square root of both sides or you know raise everything to the one-half power then you get this and so we'll prove both of those today very quickly so the proof goes like this if we have the sum of lambda ai plus bi squared that is greater than zero because we're taking a squared number and summing them and so it's always positive and then if we expand this polynomial here to this and then we distribute the summation sign in into this and then we represent the summations or everything but the lambdas as capital A this would be capital B and that's capital C and now we have a second order polynomial that's positive so now let's find the values of lambda that make this true so since a is positive and a represents the sum of ai squareds we can divide everything by a and so we get lambda squared 2b over a lambda plus ca and that's still greater than zero and then we can use the complete the square technique on this and we come up with this equation now notice that this piece is always positive so for this whole thing to be positive right greater than zero then this has to be positive but a squared is always positive so it really we're talking about the a times c minus b has to be positive which is this equation and now most of you of course would go from here to here in any quadratic equation the de the discriminant determines you know whether it's positive or not so we can add b squared to both sides and we get this and so so if this is positive this must be true well let's put in the values what we have for a, B, and C, which is this. B was this sum of A, I, B, I, you know, squared. Sum of A, I squared times sum of, of uh, B, I, B, I squared. And this is one of the things we wanted to show. And if you take, raise everything to the one-half power, you get this. Well, that's all I have for today. Uh, tomorrow's video we're going to look at the Wurstroff M test that we didn't prove in the four-year series and so I'll see you then thanks a lot bye